Okay, uh, well, this is Ben Doughty for Tip TV, and it's always a great pleasure to see my old mate Chunky. Uh, how are you doing today? Ben? Yeah, all good, all good, Ben. Just enjoying, trying to enjoy a little bit of the sun, some nice food, and just yeah. around nice people. We should probably explain we're at the Matchroom Barbecue in these fairly prosperous grounds of um, what I believe used to be Barry Hearn's house. So, Chunky, last time we saw you on the undercard of the, the Fox Groves mega show, I spoke to your trainer, Jimmy McDonald, the next day, and I said that, to me, that was a performance I've been looking for you for a long time. Yeah. It was the sort of, the, the chunky yeah. that we, yeah. you know, how do you feel about the performance? I think the performance was, was nice. I think it was a, a powerful performance. I think some of the, some of the shots that I threw were, were, were very accurate and powerful. You, you looked a little bit more ferocious than I've seen, right. than we've seen sometimes. I can sound like a par parrot again, Ben, but I was I was injured. I think yeah. that ice ankle Gilm was growing. I keep on saying it, but that's the only way I can I can explain myself is because I was injured. So in the fights with Dyer Davis and, yep. and and people like Zuniga, uh, I was injured, so I couldn't get my full power to push <coughs> off. I couldn't move properly. And to be fair, even in my last fight, it's still there a little bit. It is still there, but over the past six weeks, I've still been ticking over. I've still been getting physio and. Listen, come come October when I box the world title, I'm going to be 100. Let's talk about that. Come October and world title chances. You are now Carl Froch's mandatory um, with, I believe, the IBF. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't seem to me like it's a fight he's too interested in taking. Talk to me. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think he wants to take it. But uh, I'm the mandatory challenger now, so I'm just going to have to. But I think he's got a voluntary uh, before, but. The IBF state that he has to fight me before the 25th of February, or else relinquish, of course, or vacate. So that's another, that's another scenario that can happen. What do you think is more likely, gun to the head situation? If I said, do you think you'll be facing Carl Froch before the year's out? Would you say yes or no? I say there's an 80 percent chance. 80 percent chance. Carl Froch. Yeah, I spoke to Ayla. I've had in the past six weeks. I've had a couple meetings with her and. and uh, He's pretty confident the fight's going to happen. He's okay. pretty confident it's going to happen. So, as I say, I'm just waiting for the date and the confirmation, and I'm ready to go. Now, if, assuming that fight does get made, I'm guessing you'll go into the ring as a betting underdog. I'm guessing. 100%, yeah. Not that I don't think that yeah. will bother you in, the, in no. the slightest. But some people have said for a while, the smart money says that you will be a stylistic nightmare for the man they call a yeah. cobra. I've said, I've said for years, Ben, that uh, I'm all wrong for Carl Frotz. Listen, I've got utmost respect for the man. He's yeah. a warrior. Uh, the things that he's achieved in boxing is unbelievable. But stars make fights, they think I'm all wrong for him, and uh, people ain't seen the best of me. Well, you look at what Andre Durrell did to him. Now, I'm not, I'm not Andre, just... It's not, it's not just Andre Durrell, it's Andre Durrell. Andre Ward, Slickster. Jermaine Taylor, even Jermaine Taylor, he was down about let's, five or six. Let's rounds talk now. about slick black fighters. Yeah. That's what we're, well, that's what we're getting at here. Yeah. Okay, um, you drew some negative remarks in some quarters. They said it, they thought it was a. Uh, some people said they thought it was a bit tasteless. Your yeah. high five, you know, Carl, when when he just knocked out yeah. George Groves. Uh, tell, talk me through that. Well, listen, I was in the moment. Uh, it was a mad atmosphere. Yeah, adrenaline through you. Uh, and I was just in with the fight. Obviously, everyone knows the history of me and Crotch. I mean, with you and George yeah, Rose. Yeah, me and Gros. There's never any love lost. Along. Yeah, no, no. So and you even, definitely... even with the build-up to their yeah. fight, like, to be fair, I wanted Crotch to win. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And you were celebrating like. Yeah, the same I just way gave him a spot and said, "What a lovely shot." And it was a good, a good right hand. It come from a long way out, but listen, it landed perfectly on his chin and he, he, he knocked him up. So I, I have to give him a man of respect for that. Okay. Um. It was just announced uh, yesterday that George Groves is, has announced his kind of rehabilitation fight against yeah. a fairly obscure fighter. Mm. Must admit, I think uh, the name even escapes me. Yeah, How do you feel? Yeah. You've already mentioned the fact that you don't get along and you said you'd never liked him. And that's the one thing about you is you're real about it. You're not trying to pretend to be someone you're not. Right. Uh, I've always telling people that you are not. Some people perceive you as arrogant or so. Yeah. I, I keep trying to tell people that you're one of the nicest, most decent fellas in the game. I remember one time I hadn't seen you for about three years and straight away you still remember my name and said, how's it going? Yeah, all right, you know, so that, that is not a superstar kind of aloof yeah. attitude at all. But um, we've talked about the PR and, and the way perhaps that wasn't being manipulated correctly, it's been solved now. How do you feel about Groves, unemotionally, as a fighter and his future now, having just been listen, listen. 
Yeah. Right Rivalry aside, like? right Rivalry aside, he's a good fighter. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Rivalry aside, a good fighter. Uh, and to be fair to him, up until the punch, he got knocked out with. There were there was nothing in the fight. It was either it just depends what you liked in the fight, but some people had groves up, some people had frotch up. It just depends. So listen, he's a good fighter, and he probably will go on to win a world title, and hopefully we yeah, and hopefully we will fight. That's again. where I was going with that question. Yeah, I mean, let's assume best case scenario, uh, you win a world title yeah. before the year's out, after having got your mandatory spot. Yeah whether it's Carl Froch in the opposite corner or somebody else. Um, and then, do, do you speculate a rematch with Groves for more, for more marbles this time? Uh, 100%, 100%. Next what, fight, the next fight. What would you do fight. differently? Because I, I watched the first fight and I thought, it was pure emotion on your part. Yeah, yeah. Because, of, because of all, all that right. hatred, you, ben, you, it all you didn't wrong, really man. seem to have a game plan. You just went after him and thought, I'll get this kid at some point. Yeah, yeah, if he comes yes, to me. Yes, yes, really. You oh, said, yeah, yes, as long as he comes to me, then yeah. I'll get him. But and I the trouble is, he, 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 he boxed and moved and he didn't get involved. Yeah. What will you do differently? I played the wrong. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go in there with a different game plan. Obviously, Groves knows if he comes towards me and has a fight with me, he's in trouble, he's getting knocked out. So he has to play it on the back foot. I think he has to. Yeah. He has to try and beat him. He has to box on the back foot. There's no way he was standing there and never turned. Let's, let's, I love let's that. make the I point that, that you didn't necessarily lose the last fight. No, like, you were a, lot, a judge to have lost. There you go. A lot it of people thought I won. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people thought I won. But hey, listen, I only blame myself, man. And as he says, everything happens for a reason. And look where I am now. Okay, well, Chunky, thanks very much for your time, no, no and I wish you all the best in the next few months. And I'll be ben, watching everything. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Very Cheers. Much.